Hey Pat, what up? Hey guys, it's Bam here. Uh, I've got a tutorial for you just of uh, an element of the little preview clip that I had back there. So what I'm going to do is be putting a scribble uh, just around the gun. So basically between the gun and the background, which is a pretty cool effect that you can use. You can pretty much scribble on anything. So what I'm just going to do is uh, put this clip at the start. Um, so basically we've got this clip here and it's the same clip that starts over here. but um, the reason that I've started over here is because what I want to do is I actually want to freeze frame this clip. So I'm going to go layer, time, freeze frame. So now what we've got is we've got the whole thing. It just goes the whole way. Now we're going to go up to make sure we're on it. Yep, onto the end and then press Alt uh, and end or close square bracket. So then when we go here, it continues in the clip. So we've got this and then into there. So it won't look as polished because we haven't got all the scale and stuff like that on at the start and the uh, black bars, but basically this is going to be the basic effect and then you can add everything else on that you will uh, personalize. So we've got this here. What we want to do is uh, press Control and D and that will give us two of these clips. And we'll just hide the bottom one. Now what we want to do is uh, zoom out as far, get this screen as big as we can. Make sure we clicked on the top one. Fit up to 100%, yes. Okay. Now what we want to do is just start masking the little gun here and everything on the gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed this up. So all I'm going to do is just follow the outside of this. And I'll see you when I'm finished. Okay, so we're done masking this one now. So what you should get is uh, basically if you've hidden that layer underneath, you'll just get this, uh, just one on top. What you can do is press M and then click on this and you can feather it a little, maybe give it like two. Uh, it makes it just look a little bit smoother, but you don't have to worry about that too much. So what we've got now is one layer here. Uh, we've got this one and then we've got just the mask layer. What we unfortunately have to do is uh, do another mask. So basically with masking you can make it as neat or as messy as you like and uh, you know depending on what you want to do is how long it takes. So what we're going to do now is um, do a similar thing but we're going to mask like with maybe a little bit of room around the outside. So I'll just give you an example quickly. So we would say mask about like like that like that much room and so this one I'm just gonna I'm gonna go a little bit quicker because Smith does neat I'll speed it up now though okay so now we have just a mask so you can see it when I drag this layer back up there's just a mask around the outside what we want to do is go effect generate and then choose scribble and we've got this little scribble thing, but there's nothing behind it. So how we change that is go click composite down the bottom where it says on transparent, change that and go on original image. So now we can see the gun underneath, drag your layer and chuck it underneath. So now we've got the basic scribble. I mean, it's a bit messy, but you know, I could change it a little bit if I wanted. So get a little bit neater. And the top of the gun. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so we've got that, and wait one more, and I'll drag this in. Okay, so we've got this scribble. What you can do is you can change the change the angle. So you may want it that way, following the gun. Or say you're masking something else on the side, but anyway, we're just going to keep it at 60. Okay, so what that's basically how you get the scribble. You just make a mask and draw it in any shape. But to do this effect, what I did was I uh, got the bottom layer here. And we'll go effect, blur and sharpen, and I just like using fast blur. I mean, lots of people use the Gaussian blur, but I, personally, I just like using this one. Uh, we'll key it, put a keyframe at the start, and we'll give it probably about, yeah, let's go 30. 30, and then right across to here, uh, you can press U, and that'll appear all the stuff that you've done. Uh, and keyframe it and then right at the end 
bit before the end actually. Make the blurriness zero again. So what we've got now is just blurs and then got unblur. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, change the opacity of the scribble. So as it blurs in, I'll change key the opacity, key where you want it to finish. Go back to the first one and make it zero. So now we've got that, and then I'll probably start key key this out a little bit later just to make it look different. And right as it hits the clip, we'll go zero. Maybe change the keyframe so it goes a bit faster. So there we go. Basically, what you've done is just blur it out, it goes behind the gun, and then come across here, blurs out, and then continues the clip. So uh, that's pretty much the basics of doing scribble. You can put basically a mask on any adjustment layer and any shape you want. You can change it uh, and put effects onto that as well. So, but that's how you do the scribble effect. You can put it on top of stuff, underneath stuff. It looks really good when you are masking other stuff on top of it, though. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and also the preview clip. I've uh, posted that as a separate link already. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you like that one separately, if you could give it a like, that would be wicked. So if you have any questions about what to do with Scribble Next or just would have any other ideas for tutorials uh, that you want me to do, then uh, just give me a message or in the comments or anything like that. So thanks, guys. See ya.